Hey friends, family, and loved ones of the Goga Cairo community. It's Dr. Lance coming from my home today. Uh, wanted to shoot from my living room for a few reasons. Number one, it's quick and easy <laughs> while my kids are out at a dental appointment. Uh, also, I wanted to show some people that I do in fact have gymnastics rings right in front of our projector screen, which is where we will also often uh, do mobility and movement while we're watching TV or last night with the Warriors game. How do you work movement into your life is an example. We just installed it above our couch. Next piece is to celebrate everything that happened in March. That was a huge month to give you an insight on some things that are happening in April that may include uh, changing where you park and being aware of some closures around our office in the marina, or if you'd like to join us for a couple of events that are happening. First and foremost, Thank you to our Goga Cairo team. This last March, everyone showed up so massively. Dr. Ray did his ice immersion movement breathwork at the Marina office. Dr. Sid ran the Lulu breathwork movement meditation with me at uh, the Fillmore location. Thank you to Lewis who invited us in. He's a chiropractor to be who's also working at that location. Dr. Becca and Dr. Sid both participated in the International Women's Day speaker panel at Viore. That community has really opened up to us. We're really grateful to be uh, working in collaboration with them. Dr. Ace put on a running form technique injury prevention workshop this last weekend and had the biggest showing that we've had at that event. He's done it multiple times, but this seems to be the most successful. If you can't tell, we are building a lot of momentum. I also just returned from teaching a seminar in Italy to a bunch of chiropractors who also get injured themselves. 50% of chiropractors get hurt in the first five years of practice. It is my uh, level of expertise to go teach injury prevention, just like we do for you, but to chiropractors themselves so that they don't have to sacrifice their health as they help others with theirs. Uh, and we loved that event. It was very welcoming from the Italian Association of Chiropractors, and I'm also stoked to be home. This coming week, this is now pivoting. Thank you, March was incredible. This week, Friday the 4th, and the following week, Thursday the 13th, at the Marina office, if you come there on Thursdays or Fridays, you might wanna pay attention here, there's road construction. They're gonna shut down traffic both directions, no parking available for those entire days from eight to six, so it's very relevant for us during our business day. Uh, you'll have to find a different place to park on those particular days. So at the Marina office, this coming Friday the 4th, or the following Thursday the 13th, you won't be able to park on Laguna at our Marina office. Two events coming up this month that I'm stoked about. In San Francisco, uh, we are the chiropractic team for St. Ignatius' athletic department, and we are hosting at that location a sports performance and sports medicine symposium. We will be representative there as well as three or four other speakers from around the San Francisco performance and health community. Uh, it's mostly catered toward athletic trainers, personal trainers, sports medicine professionals who work with high school sports. Uh, but if that is something you're interested in, or if you're a personal trainer looking for some CEUs from the NSCA, feel free to join us. It'll be from 8 to 12 p.m. on Saturday, April 15th. And then another one you'd have to pack your bags for. I'm speaking at an incredible event called Soul Revival in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, this is a consciousness shifting event. It's my favorite event from the last year. Uh, and I'm really stoked to be invited to speak on stage this year. A bunch of health and healing professionals, health and healing facilitators speak on stage, kind of TED Talk style. Uh, there's chiropractors in the back of the conference room, uh, adjusting people, checking people, getting them hooked up. Tons of incredible vendors. Uh, and really just the, the, the theme of the event is the last human standing or human intelligence. In the prep for this wave of AI coming in, uh, how do we engage with it without sacrificing the gift that we have, our own human intelligence? We don't want to be uh, delegating all of the things that we must do to stay strong, to stay smart, to engage in our life. How do we use this tool to augment our intelligence rather than to substitute it? So I'm excited to be there. That is the last weekend of April, the 29th and the 30th in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, if you'd like to go, let me know, or you can just put a code in Lance100. We'll put that in the email just so you can get a hundred bucks off the ticket. That's April in a nutshell. So far, there's more to come uh, because we're in collaboration with lots of other places for opportunities. Uh, Movement Gym in the Presidio is going to be bringing us in to do a lunch and learn with their team. If you're interested in having our team come and do a collaborative event with you or your family or your friends or your work, let us know because our team is so strong right now. We're really ready to step into the spring and share our message and connect with you in more deep ways. So we love you so much. If we can help you in any way, please let us know. We love the opportunity to help you facilitate healing in your life and for those that you care about. We will see you soon. Cheers.